When Sabina Khatri walks into her Kiran Foundation school, children flock to her, beaming with joy. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, thank you. The school is in the heart of Leari, a densely populated, impoverished neighborhood in Pakistan's economic hub, Karachi. For years, Leari was a hotbed of violent political and criminal gangs. Travelling on this road used to be impossible for us. We couldn't come here in the day or night. Bullets could fly any time. A domestic abuse case brought Khatri to the neighbourhood two decades ago. She saw that street violence was severely impacting families behind closed doors. Because of, you know, aggression, because of rage within people, the rage would come out on the youngest human in the family. Or the weakest, which, which a lot of times is the woman. Khatri designed a model of care focusing on mental health. Before adopting this school, she spent almost a decade applying her system to small groups of children and mothers. So understanding that what trauma does to a child, how it would manifest at adulthood, how can I reverse this cycle for them? And then the mothers eventually become spokespersons into the community, speaking about trauma and its effects to people. Fierce but controversial law enforcement operations largely brought peace to Leari almost a decade ago. But the trauma of past violence persists. In 2014, Khatri's charitable foundation took over the school that housed a political party's torture chamber. She spent the first year helping senior students process their pain. I announced it as the healing year, that this year we're not going to do any studies. Just let's close the books. Let's heal. There was a lot of shame, guilt, revenge, anger, rage within them. For everybody. The walls, once stained with blood, are now plastered with messages of kindness. Here they are polite, don't beat us. A psychologist is always on hand to help with behavioral issues. For older students, meditation corners provide space for self-reflection. But special attention is given to empowering mothers. And you teach others at home that you have to interact with your child and what kind of language do you use at home and what kind of uh, words you, you are not using at home. Many of Khatri's former students are now pursuing higher education in Karachi. Still, she says her methods have some skeptics. There are people in Liari also who say that and a few more, you know, educationists also say that. That if you're going to be so polite with them, if you're going to keep no distance with the children, they will not be able to go to good universities. And today I'm so happy that I've proven that wrong. Khatri hopes her model of healing while teaching will help younger generations build a future different from the past. Let the magic happen. You keep the children safe and happy, they will do it themselves. Sarah